How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing great. When the hey, Lisa. Days hey. Okay. Cards all fold in the saints we see are all made of gold. When you Sam, dream, what's up? Are you excited for the game? I oh yeah. I definitely, I definitely think you will. Run Don't wanna let you down, but I am hell bound. <laughs> no, <this is> <laughs> Yeah, I, I just saw a, a huge car accident in front of me. Okay, where are you at? It's Grafton High School. Okay, and is there anybody injured? Um, it, it looks like multiple people. Um, there's just, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood that I can see. Okay, uh, they're getting as fast as they can. Okay. Sam! Guys, what just, what just happened? Sam, where's Aliza? What just happened? Eli. She's out of the car. <gasps> Eli! Eli! Sam! What happened? Eli. Yeah, hey, you're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're good, you're good. Come on, come on. My legs. You're fine. Stay away. Everybody, just stay in the car, all right? Don't move around. Fire department will be here in a minute. How are you doing over there? Two vehicle accident, one ejection. Know where you were coming from? I don't know. Extrication. Do you remember anything? No. All right. Is Elise okay? We're gonna get her looked at right away, all right? Stay calm and just relax. That's okay, you're breathing. I know it's scary, just try to stay relaxed, all right? They'll get you out real quick, all right? My chest. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask you to do some field sobriety tests for me. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's worry about you. Okay. 
Everyone's going to be fine here. Alright, now with your right. Relax, okay, my name's Nick. Okay. Right? What's your name? Alright. Now with your left. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Alright, you can put your arms down and look at me again. Everything's alright. Your friend right here, he's in the sea collar, but he's doing fine. Okay. Remember, you gotta keep your head tilted. Back. Everything's okay right now. Alright. Just focus on you, alright, dude. Okay. Alright. Perfect. Okay. Where are you coming from right now? Breathing for us. Do you know where you're coming from? Um, How old are you? 17. 17. Are you cold right. yeah. Being placed under arrest for operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Just keep breathing for me. You're doing all right. We're going to get you out of here just as soon as possible. All right, they just took out that door. You're going to have people come up here to check you, all right? You still doing okay for me? I think so. I think so? Okay. Do you have any pain anywhere at all that stuff? Having trouble breathing? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's hook that up. Heart rate's coming up. He's bleeding in the inside. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and give him the rest of that, too. Look forward right at me. And look at the door. Hello, I'm Officer Ratkin with the Grafton Police Department. 
Hi, I'm looking for Aliza's mom. Yes, I am. Could I come in and speak with you for sure, a few minutes? Please. So I'm here today because there was a car accident earlier today, um, and it, your daughter was involved in that car accident. She was a passenger in another car, um, and I'm very sorry to tell you, and I don't know how else to tell you. As a result of that accident, your daughter Aliza died. Oh my God. I want to begin by thanking all of you for coming here today to remember my best friend, Eliza Manzor. Eliza is a sister of Zanab and Itiza and daughter of Ms. Gon Niazi and Mr. Kesser Manzor. Not only was she a theater girl, but she was the class president, student council president, and prom queen. Eliza was full of life, she was ambitious, and she was genuine. A combination so hard to find in someone, she was an anomaly. She wanted to make a difference in the world, and in the few short 17 years she had on this planet, she did. Eliza made it her mission to help others, even if it meant she had to make sacrifices along the way. The world lost a good one when she had her life cut short by the selfish and foolish actions of somebody else. There are no words to describe how empty I feel now that the light of my life is gone. Please take this as a reminder to you to cherish your life and the relationships you have, for life is unpredictable and someone you hold so dear could be gone in an instant. Lisa, I love and miss you dearly, and I promise to never forget you and the impact you had on my life. <laughs> I know many of you know Eli, and I know many of you don't as well. I wish I could tell you the hundreds of stories we have anywhere from before kindergarten to even last week. I wish I could even tell you how much we dominated at Pictionary, that he has always been my person for everything, or that we don't even need words to speak. Eli, since you left now, each breath I take hurts because you can't do the same. When you stopped aging, I kept going. So instead of being a month and 12 days older, I'm a month and 13 days, then 14, then 15. Each day, I'm forgetting the times we hung out in school, FaceTimed until 1 a.m., binge watch Netflix while eating entire boxes of Cheez-Its and Teddy Grahams. There's no getting that back and there's no getting your future back. I will never stop being sorry knowing I was a part of the reason your family's in this mess. You might be ready, but I'm still not. Maybe if I try saying goodbye, I might be one day. So, goodbye. If I just lay here, would you lie with me? And just forget the world. Then I'll call State of Wisconsin versus Tyler Troy. Well, we're here for sentencing following uh, Mr. Troy's plea to two counts of homicide by intoxicated use of a motor vehicle. I have a lot of things that, that I'd like to say. I think a little bit of it is too late. To, because we can't do what everybody would like to do here and that's turn back the hands of time so that this didn't happen. Unfortunately, life doesn't work that way. You're extremely young and 
made a terrible decision to drink and drive and it's resulted in one person dying at the scene and one person lingering and then dying at the hospital and now we're, we're here. And instead of everybody going on with their life, people are going to live with this. Family members will go and see people at, at a cemetery. They won't be there for holidays, Christmases and weddings and birth of kids, that's, that's all gone. Basically, it's gone because of you. And, and so I think the thing to do is uh, I have to send a message to anybody that would be so inclined to drink and drive that they are risking their freedom for a long time. On count one, I'm going to sentence you to 20 years in state prison system bifurcated, 10 years of initial confinement, and 10 years of extended supervision. And on count two, I'm going to sentence you to 10 years in the uh, state prison system and 10 years of extended supervision, so it's actually a 20 year sentence. serve 20 years of initial confinement in the state prison system.